Intercepting heart troubles, an IU doctor is playing a key role in detecting heart problems among potential NFL players. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us live. And Adam, what kind of life-saving tests do these doctors perform? Vigorous, rigorous screening, actually, April. The, the, that will take place on nearly 350 NFL players with dreams to be in the league, or future NFL players, that is, when the Combine is in Indianapolis next week. But before they can take the field, they need to be cleared of potential heart issues that could cross up during the workout and that's when IU cardiologist comes into the picture. When nearly 350 potential NFL players take the field for the NFL Combine next week, they will be hooked up to an electric cardiogram and a team of IU physicians led by cardiologist Dr. Richard Kovacs will look for anything wrong. It could be an abnormality of the heart rhythm. It could be an abnormality of what we call conduction, the way the electricity flows through the heart with a heartbeat. It is nearly three decades of working with athletes in the combine. Dr. Kovacs says it's rare to have any players held out of the combine due to heart problems, but some are flagged for additional testing. All of that information, the original information, the actual images, the electrocardiograms, the results of the physical examination go to all 32 teams. And then for whether they're drafted or not, the team, the team and their team physician and their team cardiologist decide that. Dr. Kovac says athletes' hearts are different than the average person depending on the sport and how much the athlete trains. That's why extra scrutiny is given to their electrocardiograms. We have discovered things, uh, often correctable things, uh, that, that have helped players uh, get into the league and have probably longer and more productive careers in the league. Despite the rigors of football, Dr. Kovacs says NCAA Division I basketball players are at a higher risk for heart ailments. We have struggled with that in the field for, for decades as to understand whether that is whether that is the kinds of players or the sport or the training, and we haven't figured that out yet. Dr. Kovacs says because of Lucas Oil Stadium's close proximity to several hospitals, he thinks it is likely the Combine will stay in Indianapolis for years to come. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.